The Baku Convention Center buzzed with activity as it welcomed the sixth World Forum on Intercultural Dialogue. The ceremony began with a video of the achievements of the Baku process, which aims to promote a safer and more secure international community. After the video, President Ilham Aliyev addressed the attendees. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, welcome to Azerbaijan. I'm very glad that uh, Forum is back on track. As you know, we had uh, several years of break due to COVID and post-COVID situation, but now I'm sure our traditional uh, timetable is completely restored. I'm glad to see uh, representatives from more than 100 countries, actually 110, and this really demonstrates that uh, this forum is a very important international platform to address the issues of intercultural dialogue. The forum continued with a series of plenary and panel discussions with a diverse group of over 700 guests, including high-level diplomats, scholars, and religious leaders. One unanimous message resonated clearly. Intercultural dialogue is vital for the international community. I think this is an opportunity to meet to have a dialogue. We need to make the best out of it because we can't see each other all the time. When we don't speak to one another, some misunderstandings can happen. But here, as you can see, there are participants from around the world. Not easy time, with a lot of uh, tension, with a lot of difficulties, but I think uh, this kind of conference can be good key for good dialogue between religious people and the uh, politics and another, because sometimes politics misuse the, 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 the religion and that it's good that we can speak openly one with another. Discussions also addressed intergenerational dialogue as an area of focus. The forum concluded with a declaration which was signed by all participants and included a call for action to build a world where diversity is celebrated, inclusivity is embraced, and all voices are heard. Ilya Savju, TRT World, Baku.